What's up guys, Kyoka1994, here gonna play anything? You guessed it, Dragon Ball, and we are back again diving into another playthrough on Dragon Ball Legends. We are hopping back into Book 6, Chapter 1, where we're going to actually start fighting, uh, I guess, Nappa and Vegeta alone. Uh, I believe in the last playthrough we played with them and a Cyberman. So, uh, yeah, it's time to finally fight these two. Uh, I have my two Sparkings on my team. Actually, I believe I have three now. Yeah, I do because I have Vegeta. So, my three Sparkings are on my team. And it is time to unleash the science onto the science. But I want to thank you guys for hopping in today. I hope you guys are having a very enjoyable day. And if you're not, I hope maybe we can still turn it around before the end and make everything great. Because... The most important thing is to make sure that you are peaceful and relaxed before the end of your day, just so that you can wake up and start the next day anew and great. It's a good day, guys, and we are back again playing through the Dragon Ball Legends game. Uh, I've been learning a lot about the game and getting frustrated at the events uh, lately. I have... Let's use these three. I have uh, been having a hard time on a couple of the side events. Uh, I've only been able to really do two sets of summons. And I really haven't pulled a bunch of the amazing units. They recently released a good a set with like Broly and a couple others. And I have not yet pulled on that banner yet. Uh, but let's hope that whenever I do, uh, I end up getting some better units so that I can do better in these events. Because I really feel that that's where it's... I mean, it's going to be like Dokkan. It, it, that's where it's going to be tough, and that's where the actual fun of the game is going to be. The campaign's used to, you know, farm up everything and show off the mechanics. But the events are where the real stuff goes down. And hopefully they start putting out some kind of events that actually give you out like maybe some free characters or something uh maybe give more towards the free to play people because right now i am free to play only on this game i have not put any money into it yet i don't know how long it's going to end up staying like that but at least for right this minute i have not had any side cash to put into this game don't really have anything against the idea just like i said haven't really had anything Oh, let's end it with a rising rush. But the Broly that they kind of put out, I haven't seen a lot of gameplay with him. But just just the idea of having a Broly card or a Broly character uh, really intrigues me. And especially that being the first person we actually fought in this game. I'm really excited to actually have that character in this game and use him and see how he is. It's very interesting that that would be the very first, you know, uh, set of new cards into the game. Being that in Dragon Ball Fighters, they also put out Broly alongside Bardock as the first DLC. So it's really interesting that just to show the love that people have for Broly, they really always try to put him out and Goku's father out in the first set of DLC. So let's see whenever we get a Bardock card in this game. Most likely it's going to be sometime soon. If it's not already in that set, I'm not positive. I did not look through all of it. But uh, we'll see a Bardock eventually. Still also waiting to get a Ginyu so that I can just make a joke Ginyu Force squad. And watch it be that that would actually be a great team. Man, he just flicked Nappa into outer space it looked like. It is time. Hopefully, it's time to start fighting some people outside of the actual Namek arc. Time to fight people outside of the Cyan arc. Oh, look, there's Goku. Okay, and Goku is flashbacking to Super Saiyan. Wait, I remember. Why is your hair black? Because all Saiyans have black hair. Or all full, full blood Saiyans actually have black hair. There we go. 
and Bulma fell in love. Vegeta's probably going to be a little bit mad about that one. We already saw how he took it in the series whenever he instant transmitted into Bulma's room on accident. But let's hop into chapter 2. They're just going to kill these people's brains with all this information. Can't just dump that upon people. Oh, I'm a deity and there are other deities that are even stronger than me. Ooh, it looks like this might be the bad guy of the game. Kidnap a god. This game got a serious tone to it now. Gods are getting kidnapped. Ooh. <laughs> Goku always getting so casual with the gods. Lighten up, B. See, that that's why at the end of the day Zamasu was completely correct. Take away the mortals, man. Just disrespecting the gods like that. Right there, calling him a baka. There we go. To be continued. Let's hop, I guess, into the next chapter. Chapter 3. I hate when the chapter is just a cutscene. I'm glad it doesn't take up an energy though. That would that would be a, a huge sham if that took up an energy. Watch it actually have taken up energy and I just haven't noticed. I like the uh Batman fade in and fade outs. <laughs> Dodoria, Dodoria. Cool. Now it looks like we will be fighting some more Namek Arc people. There we go. Let's get our battle on, guys. It's time to fa 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 fight. Still trying to level up my Sparkings. I have upgraded the Goku. Uh, to the next stage from novice to fighter which is actually how you get your characters to be able to level up past you know 300 and it's, it's basically like the orb system of this game but uh yeah we have him up to the fighter level so i believe i can go to level 600 on him but all my other characters right now are stuck at the 300 cap but soon i hope to actually have that different for the fact of I have been farming up a lot of the Z souls to be able to get them to the next level and try to just make my team overall better because I know that the cap out right now is a thousand for each character. I don't know if that's ever going to change, but I know that's what it is right this minute. Ooh. I mean, I'm, I'm I like that he you know, took one for the team and tried to help his friend out, but I mean, he took some massive damage doing that. No Dodoria, though. Maybe we'll get to him next time. On Dragon Ball Legends. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I do like the game, even though, like I said, I've been getting very frustrated with uh, the Raditz event. Uh... Mainly, it's because my characters aren't fully developed, and I know that I could get them more fully developed. So, I know that it's still kind of my fault about why I'm having the trouble I am. But, I, I kind of wish the iOS would have come out when the Android version did, because I'm seeing a lot of other people 
who farmed it up on their Android account and then, you know, switched over to here. I don't doubt that there are people on the iOS that have put way more time into this game than me. I know there are plenty of people, but, uh... I, I, just the events coming and going so fast, at least for me, has been uh, frustrating. I haven't been able to do them all, uh, and I haven't even... I've been trying to, like I said, film all of the playthroughs of me doing the story mode, and that taking up time has not allowed me to do certain things in the game that I think I need to do to actually level my characters up even more. So that's what we're going to use... Today four, I'm going to try to mass record a couple of these playthroughs of all of the campaigns so I can actually dive more into the events and make my account better for just myself. I, I, I like playing PvP and I want to play more PvP, but I know not having my characters leveled up and, you know, basically farmed up. Uh, causes a problem so I don't get to enjoy the player versus player as much uh, so we're gonna like I said we're gonna use today as my off day to actually try to get more of these completed so that I can dive into that stuff and we'll definitely be bringing more of that to the channel uh, even if I can't completely beat a stage I'm most likely going to still put it out and you guys can just make fun of me for either doing obvious crappy you know plays because i don't understand the game i li i guess i like to make fun of myself that i suck at this game because it feels like i suck at this game uh you guys can you know pretty much just make fun of me and watch me just fail out because of uh me not either having the best units farmed up or hopping into events that i'm clearly not even close to the health level or power level to be in but uh yeah, you can watch me go get my butt whooped in those more often, I guess. Come on. Let's get a switch up in here and a melee. Took him out. There we go. The classic sign. Boom, boom, boom. So we are diving into chapter 5 where we're finally going to fight Dodoria. But he's only at level 260 so it's not really that difficult. Especially because they're, they're... I still don't know if it's power level or if it's health. I assume it's health but it's 74,000 compared to my 138. So we're just going to continue to use this to level up the sparking characters that we have to 300 and 600 respectively. Maybe I'd be better at the game if I read the tips in the cut and you know the little loading screens. Get that, that, and that to get the dragon balls. Take out Apple right there and flop over to Super Saiyan Goku. Use some key attacks. Let's see, let this special. Ooh, actually. Now we'll let the special get in. And we'll use Rising Rush to completely take out Dodoria. I thought that was a Dragon Ball, but I guess not. Okay, let's... Whoa! Okay. There we go. We'll use the Rising Rush to take out Raspberry because I guess he was lower health than I thought he was. And I thought I could use that as a final, but they swapped out. He tried to save him. Look what trying to save your teammate does for you. It gets the whole team killed. Now I am just playing about that. You should always try to, you know, protect your teammates. But sometimes you just got to know when to throw in the towel. And that was one of those times where you should have just thrown in the towel. So we're going to go from chapter 5 and dive into 6. I have a problem with not using my main abilities. I do like the one with the sparking Goku because it gives him a, uh, for 20 key, it gives him this really cool, like, a uh, little hit combo to Kamehameha, and, uh, does a lot of damage, really like it, I like that card.
Ooh. That's going to be an interesting fight. I wonder why we are fighting him. I don't know why it's saying that Zaha is our partner. So I guess we're going to have to fight him to make him be on our team this time. Ooh, he thinks he's done. Damn. Let's see. Hopefully if we fight him, we can get him to turn around. Let's uh, let's just be disrespectful and keep using the three signs on everybody. We're going to use the universe's strongest race of warriors to take out the universe that is known as Dragon Ball. Okay, special move, followed by a melee, and a key attack, man. I mean, I'm not trying to be disrespectful on him, but it kind of feels that that's what's going to happen. I didn't even have time to let my main ability actually charge up all the way. Hey, look, I got some free Chrono Crystals from Vegeta. Yeah, see, I wasn't even able to use a strike skill or a main ability twice. I didn't even get close to getting a rising rush. I think I still needed three or four balls. You thought you had a chance? What up, Z? I love this uh, using of the first initial <laughs> on everybody. No, no respect. Hopefully we can hop into something else a little bit harder. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to play back through these to get all of the challenges done. Okay, so we're actually going to fight Pan. That's cool. I'm going to have to do all of the challenges, you know, like I said, but... They're not going to be super hard. I'm really only stuck on one level right now uh, to only get one challenge, and that's beat perfect. Uh, I think it's the level 500 Raditz. I've gotten all of them done except fighting him with, you know, him not getting a single hit on me, getting a perfect match. That's the only one that I have not been able to go through yet, and that's actually the main reason why I started just grinding through these characters and trying to get them leveled up is to get that easier but i kind of see that i have to go through the potential system for a couple characters to get my health and level higher than his so i'm gonna have to get over 500 to make sure i just overpower him and he doesn't have a chance that's gonna make it a lot easier so that will be coming at one point later on in the future let's get yamcha with a couple nice key attacks Let's try not to break his tooth out this time like we did in the first battle. I guess technically the second battle since Goku was hungry in the first battle, but... First real battle. Hop this in. Hit him with the key attack. Whenever they decide to... There we go. What a great thing to be able to do. Take out a member of the San family as Vegeta. Nothing better you can do on film or in a game or just for a Vegeta period in his real life is take out a San member. There we go, Pan. You're done. Done for. Okay. Get a key attack on Chaozu because you ain't getting close enough to hug me and blow me up, buddy. Because if you try that, you're going to be crying to Tien a little bit more and be in the next dimension. Same place you ended up the first time you tried that. Let's do the main ability, and then let's actually switch to this Goku. Get his main ability up. My turn. And I will actually show you that 
Kamehameha because it should pop up next if this Yamcha doesn't decide to take out a Super Saiyan Goku. Get a super attack on him real quick. Take him out for 47k. There is the special attack that I was telling you guys about. Man, look how he just disrespected Chiaotzu's face. What a pretty finish right there. Yeah, down with the serious face, Goku. And just watch those guys level up and level up. Woohoo, perfect. I hope they add some more units that we can actually buy through the exchange shop sometime soon. That would be a, a lot of help. That was a lot of help that they had that sparking spirit bomb Goku in the shop. And I kind of hope that they do that later on. They've done it in Dokkan, but they're not the same game. So I understand them not really catering more towards the free-to-play players. But I hope that they do because even though I may pump money into this game, I don't feel it right that somebody who doesn't have any extra money to put in it and just loves Dragon Ball and wants to amass their collection why they can't have a couple units that are given to them that are going to be good. I mean, I know that the paid-to-play players are going to actually, you know, reap the benefit of also having that free-to-play card, but I think it's only fair to give it to the free-to-play people. Just have something to let them get through this game a little bit easier, just so that they enjoy it and don't put it down, and they stay for the run of the actual, or not even just the run, the whole life of the game, just try to keep them active and involved okay so it looks like we are back into fighting some frieza force characters come on get a melee attack in to a key blast and then a melee attack I've put a lot of work into the Spirit Bomb Goku, so he kind of eats through people pretty fast. Even though I know they have a little bit lower of an HP already, I do uh, I do happen to get to eat through some units a little bit faster with him. And he is down for the count. Ooh, that was... Ooh. That was a good set of blocking on both sides of the field right there. Come on, get him with some more melee attacks. Ooh, he just used too many. That was the only problem. I thought it was going to be a singular one, but it was not. Last hope right here. Boop, 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 boop. Ooh, good for him. Not good for me. Not good for him. Let's end this out with a rising rush, guys. Let's go with the strong special key blast. We are still on a success run for those. I don't know if maybe it's an automatic. They're not going to pick the same card as you, but it kind of feels like that when the game hasn't beat me a single time, but PvP beat me doing it. So, Well, I guess tied me because we picked the same card. We got our units going up I could have sworn I did two switches but the game would know let's go into chapter 9 and see what it holds I, I guess they think that two sets of blasters is going to scare me but I mean, I got the ultimate science right here. I got the prince and the underling who achieved super science. So, I mean, like, it's it's not really a contest. Even though I'm telling you I lose the events, the uh, campaign doesn't seem too terribly bad. I mean, I, I, I do try to take the warning of if you don't have enough scouter level to, you know, hold off. But... That's only really for the campaign that I do that for the fact of I don't want to just waste the time of the playthrough. Oh, come on, get in. I, I, I try to keep it moderately safe on the campaign and just make sure my scouter level's right, but other than that, I don't feel the full difficulty of the campaign is overall that hard. 
Nothing, nothing that you couldn't easily get over with just a little bit of training. Both in learning how to, you know, play the game and training for your physical characters to get their level up. Or you can just do the conventional grind until your characters hit all 300 and then, you know, just keep taking on, taking on. There we go. Let's hit him with my turn right here. That right there is one thing that does annoy me. Not being able to dodge or get out of somebody else's card path. I can see why it's a hard mechanic to try to like work around, especially with PvP. But I wish the defense in this game was just a little bit better. Maybe there, if there were like some blocking cards, that would be really cool. Especially, you know, having to play a block and decide if somebody else is going to play, you know, some kind of attack strategy. That'd be really interesting to see if they ever add that or if maybe that's just something I'm missing right now. But we'll see, I guess, later on in the lifespan of this game what's going to happen. Should have used one special skill. Hindsight is 2020, right, guys? Hopefully we can start fighting some of the major villains in the Dragon Ball franchise soon. I know that that's probably more so events orientated, more that, you know, you know, with the Nappa and Raditz events and stuff like that. But I don't know. Hopefully we'll see something like that soon, but that was the end of that set of chapters. That was you know, us completing book six. So I do want to thank you guys for sticking around and wasting the time and watching the video today. I very much appreciate it as always. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like or if by any chance, you know, something I did on the screen helped you out, definitely leave a like or leave what I helped you with down in the comment section below. As long as who you want to see get added to the game not only characters to play as but as the storyline progresses who do you want to see them bring in do you want to see more movie villains do you want to see more dragon ball villains do you want to see some more gt villains let me know down in the comment section below if you haven't subscribed already i definitely encourage you guys to go down and hit that red button and that bell button if you haven't already hit the bell button and you're a returning subscriber or a first time subscriber Definitely make sure you're hitting that so you are always notified whenever I upload. The second it goes up on YouTube, you guys are getting a message in your notification box so that you guys can always stay up to date with any of the Dragon Ball games I play or the in-depths or reviews that we do on the channel. So make sure you definitely go check those out if you haven't and stay tuned for anything coming in the future. I want to thank you guys as always. I want you to have an amazing day and as always, I will catch you guys next time.